Is it really possible to lose 30 pounds in just 5 days? Yes. Warning. This method of losing weight is not a sustainable approach and will not provide long-term results. The methods I'm about to share with you is dangerous and should not be attempted without supervision. So MMA fighters will do pretty much anything to gain a competitive advantage and they put their bodies through some brutal methods to do so. They manipulate their bodies days before the fight in order to weigh in at a much lower weight than they normally walk around at to gain most of it back before entering the ring to try and slap the heads off each other. This is the fight before the fight and can break any fighter both mentally and physically while potentially mess up inner organs and cause serious damage if taken too far. So having that said, in this video I will explain how MMA fighters are able to lose 30 pounds in just 5 days. So the average adult body actually consists of about 60% water, which is something the fighters use to their advantage when cutting weight. It's that fluid they want to squeeze out and they dehydrate themselves to lose most of the weight. They are usually already in great shape and have low body fat percentages, so they won't really burn much fat off in the weight cutting process. It's not calories in, calories out here, but more about manipulating your water and sodium levels and put your body in overdrive to flush that weight off. So to start off the weight cut on day 5, they will drink a shitload of water and a shitload equals at least 2 gallons or 8 liters of water. And drinking a lot more water than usual will not necessarily make you gain weight, but will put your body in overdrive and trigger it to excrete and flush out more water than you take in and you might actually burn some extra calories from bouncing to the bathroom about 20 times a day. And they also cut their carbs out completely which means they only eat foods with proteins and fats along with their water. A popular diet is the ketogenic diet which also manipulates your body similarly to the water loading. So they hold carbs extremely low or skip it completely, eat about 70% of their caloric intake in fat and the rest in protein. And this diet is pretty easy to adhere to and is something they follow even when they don't need to cut. When there is no carbs in the body, there is no glycogen or blood sugar to get energy from and the body instead turns to fat for energy, which is super effective if you want to get ripped as a fuck. And another huge benefit with this kind of diet is that 1 gram of carbs pulls 2.7 grams of water and getting rid of carbs will essentially flush even more water out. So onto the micronutrients and the most important one when cutting weight, sodium. The meals when cutting weight might not taste as good as usual because there's basically no salt allowed. This is because the level of sodium in your body rises when eating a meal rich in salt and the sodium attracts and holds onto water which in turn increases the blood volume. This is also what makes you feel bloated and should definitely be avoided when cutting. And the huge amounts of water they drink in the early stages will turn down aldosterone which is a hormone that acts to conserve sodium and secrete potassium. Sodium and potassium are indirectly related, so when potassium levels are high, sodium levels are low and that's why it's beneficial to eat foods rich in potassium as a way of lowering the sodium levels. And as they get closer to weighing, they will decrease the amount of water they take in from 2 gallons the first day to 1 gallon on day 2 and 3, half a gallon on day 4 and only 0.25 gallons on the day before weigh-ins. And on the actual weigh-in day, they sometimes cut water to only a few sips if they are still overweight. However, this is not the only method to cut weight as they also expose their bodies to heat as a way of extracting even more water out of the system. And one very popular and extremely effective way of doing just that is through hot baths. Hot baths are no biggie, right? Try to say that after dehydrating and manipulating your body for 4 days straight being dry as a raisin. We sweat the most in hot, humid environments and since water offers 100% humidity and the water is really hot, it's a jackpot. No more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time will do in the hot tub and they then move on to lighter versions of sweating without moving. Sauna and covering up in towels are common methods here. They go through this cycle several times until they have extracted enough fluids. A final push to get more fluids out of the body is to use natural diuretics. It's not necessary but could very well be that last little step needed to make weight and they usually only turn to this option during the last two days if they are behind in the weight cutting. And one of the most effective natural diuretics is dandelion root extract and can increase urination for 5 hours after consumption. This will result in more water being flushed out which is perfect and is very easy to gain the lost water weight back again after the weigh-ins. 
So they start off by drinking ridiculous amounts of water to trigger that overdrive and flush water out. And then they tighten that funnel of water supply as they get closer to weighing in for the fight and eventually stops it completely. They keep track of both macro and micronutrients to manipulate and throw off the body to their advantage with carb and sodium cutting. Hot baths, sauna and towel bathing are then used to extract more fluids. And they can even throw in some exercises in the mix just to make it a little extra. And finish it off by forcing down some dandelion root extract and they are on their way to make weight and finally be able to slap the heads off each other. But guys again this is not a method for long term weight loss results and if you're looking to shed fat you should look elsewhere. The best diet to follow is the one you can adhere to. And I like the simplicity of intermittent fasting we basically refrain from eating certain hours throughout the day. Ketogenic diet or flexible dieting are also popular methods to stay lean for longer periods of time. So definitely look into that. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to annihilate that like button and I'll see you in the next one.